Good evening. I'm Rachel Barrison, co-president of the Suffield Players. On behalf of the board, I'm excited to welcome you to the live performance of Marriage 2.0. Please join us following the performance for a talk back via chat in YouTube. To participate, log into a YouTube account to enable the chat function, and we will read the written chat questions to the director, cast, and crew. Save the date for our next show, The Reality of Education, on Thursday, December 17th and Friday, December 18th at 7 p.m. Audition dates will be November 23rd and 24th at 7 p.m. Email Lisa Parker Theater at gmail.com with your theatrical resume and a headshot to reserve your spot. Thank you to those of you who have generously supported the players. As we plan for the future, your support is critical. Please consider making a donation today by visiting our website, www.suffieldplayers.org. In the toolbar at the top of the page, click the section that says Support Us. Then a drop-down menu will appear and click on Donate and fill out the information below. Thank you and enjoy the show. Are you at the kitchen? Yeah, why? Could you bring me an ice cube? One ice cube? Yes. Why? Seriously? Why else? My tea is too hot. I need to cool it down. Damn, that's cold. Yes, it's ice. Hey, I was watching that. Oh, come on. You weren't really watching that. That show is the most idiotic thing on TV. And trust me, the bar ain't that high. But I was watching it. And I saved you. I don't need to be saved. I need rest and quiet and drugs and the remote. I just want to watch a little bit of the game. Oh, can't you go watch it in the dead? Well, I want to stay in here with you. In case you need me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Come on. You know that show is stupid. And I guess I'm stupid for liking it? I never said that you were stupid. Well, you certainly implied it. You know what your problem is? As a matter of fact, I do. It's that it's, it's, you're too sensitive. My problem is you and your macho bullshit and your unrelenting desire to be get your own way all the time. I know what you're thinking. Why should I waste my time watching a play where all they do is argue? I could stay at home and experience it live. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You could. In fact, I'll bet you've had this exact same conversation about the remote. Am I right? Ma'am, you're nodding. Am I right? And more than once, right? And you're probably thinking, why do guys always do that? You know, grab the remote like they own it. Well, to be honest, I don't know why. Change the channel. I will, in a minute. Oh, I may not live another minute. Well, in that case, I give you the royal remote. Now, you have a reason to live. My hero. It wasn't always like this. The two of us bickering like a couple of old farts. It's just a bad, bad habit. habit. I, don't I don't even know, know how we got here, here really. really. I, I vaguely remember falling in love, and getting married, and having a couple of kids, and then a bunch of soccer games, and birthday parties, and graduations, and then they went off to college. And 
how it feels like it just went like that. Does it ever feel that way to you? And now it's just me and Mr. Control Freak, Wrench Kit, Pickup Truck, Bud Light Manly Man. Happily ever after. You sound worse. Oh, believe it or not, I feel worse than I sound. Why don't we watch a little bit of the news and go to bed? I just want to check some scores. Okay. The legal status of many city residents is up in the air following the sudden death of attorney Arthur P. Kendricks, best known for his showy television commercials and silver handlebar mustache. Kendricks, 69, suffered a fatal heart attack three days ago aboard his yacht, the Sweet Tort, reportedly while giving dictation to his 22-year-old secretary. According to police, when the next of kin unlocked his office, they found thousands of documents going back decades, including wills, prenups, and divorce petitions that apparently were never fully executed. Investigators suspect Kendrick spent client fees on a lavish lifestyle while taking advantage of people too trusting, distracted, or uninformed to follow up. <laughs> well, now let's take a look at the weather. Looks like we're in for a stormy night. Uh, um, um, is that what he looks like? The lawyer looks like who handled your divorce from what's her face? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, say something. Tell me that you got the divorce papers. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty I saw sure. some papers. I, I, I think, think that I, think I remember, that some, I remember papers. some papers. Do you still have the papers? Um. Oh, come uh, on! What, what happened to Mr. I'm in control of everything? Think! I can't think if you're yelling! Oh, well, now who's the sensitive one? Well, <laughs> I suppose that I can no. call her. But, but she might I have to... said no. no. You can't possibly still have her number. Tell me you don't have her number! No! I don't have a number. Oh my God. What if your divorce never, see that would be the, oh my God, our children are bastards. Well, don't say that. Oh, I can't help it. Just... So I have you this conversation at home. The one that goes, my lawyer spent all of my money on a yacht. So now I'm probably still married to someone that my current wife, well, my current roommate calls that bleached blonde from Sarasota. Kind of makes you want to go back to that little conversation about the remote, doesn't it? Yeah. Now those were happier times. So what do you think we should do? Well, let's wait a few days and see what they find in Kendrick's office. But what if we're not married? Honey, I, I'm sure that we're still married. But what if we're not? We'll fix it. How? I don't know. Yet. Can you believe this? Can you freaking believe this? Never in a million years would I... It's a shock, really. I, I don't know how to feel. Should I be afraid? Or hopeful. Yeah, no, I can't summon hopeful. Maybe I should be angry at him for dragging his feet 20 years ago. Or should I be mad at myself for not double checking 20 years ago? But I mean, who does that? Ma'am, would you have asked to see the divorce papers before marching down the aisle? Right, no one does that. I'm mostly worried about my kids. Although, they don't have to know. I mean, my kids don't have to know, do they? 
I mean, they're off at college, and why would I distract them with this one when it, it'll probably turn out to be nothing, right? Yeah, right. Thank you. This has been helpful. <laughs> you know, honey, we don't know for sure if we're actually affected by this Kendricks thing, right? Keep talking. So? On Monday, we can go downtown and check to see if my paperwork was filed. It shouldn't be too difficult. So for now, there's really no reason to panic. I reserve the right to panic. So, granted. Thank you. Hey, think about it this way. As of this moment, we might still be married or... We might just be a couple of crazy hot kids shacking up. <laughs> the only thing hot is my forehead. Oh, that's not true. You're still hot. And I mean in the sexy hot way, not in the raging fever way, like last month. When you went to your reunion and you wore that little black dress, you were plenty hot. How about my lumpy old bathrobe? That do the trick, too? Oh, it doesn't matter. I love you no matter what you're wearing. What are you doing? Honey, will you do me the honor of remarrying me? What? Will you marry me again? Wow. Wow. I know. I know I, I, know I, was, I was just, just here, here, but I don't know how to feel again. I, is he joking or is he serious? I can't tell. You think he's serious? Oh. But if he is serious and he's really asking, does that mean I really have to answer? I don't mean that, of course, she'll say yes answer. I mean, really consider the question. An answer as of this moment in time. Do I want to marry him? Do I want to be married to him? Well, I'll tell you one thing. If I do say yes, we're going to change a few things around here. This is going to be... Marriage 2.0, new and improved with a lot of bugs worked out. You know what? I'm going for it. I'm going for the reboot with special upgrade features. Will you? It depends. Can we have a romantic honeymoon this time? Yes, anywhere that you want to go. Okay, maybe Hawaii. Whatever you want. Do you want to have another wedding? You know, bridesmaids, presents, cake? Absolutely not. I didn't enjoy that the first time. It was all for my mother. I want this to be just for us. Let's keep it intimate. Oh, agreed. So, what else? Maybe a bigger diamond? How much bigger? No, no, wait. That doesn't matter. Whatever you want. What else? Just one more thing. When we come back from Hawaii, I don't want to fall back into our bad old habits. I don't want to be bickering all the time. Agreed. We can reboot the romance in Hawaii and keep it running. Hopefully forever. Did you say reboot? I did. I was thinking marriage 2.0. Really? Yes. We seem compatible. <laughs> Agreed. So why don't we put this into sleep mode and hope for the best on Monday? Agreed.
I'm gonna go to the top of that. Oh. Come on, that one. Oh, that one. Welcome! We're here for the talk back. <laughs> and let me change screens here. We have a number of questions already. Mm -hmm. uh, Risa, can you tell us uh, the first question? How, how did you make it look like they were in the same room? They, <laughs> that was so amazing. <laughs> well, thank you. I am Jason Frigeau, by the way, the tech director. Uh, the director here is, is Chris, Chris Roman. And of course our actors, uh, Ginny and Jim <laughs> and Nicole, newscaster extraordinaire. <laughs> How did we do this? We did it with a uh, green screen. Uh, as you can see, the actors are, uh, have green screens behind them. Uh, we projected a photograph, a photograph of my living room behind them, and the computer did the rest. Risa? Um, I really appreciated the asides where the characters talked directly to us, which brought us into their minds. The set, how they related to each other, really, but it looked like they were in the same room talking to each other. How on earth was this effective? <laughs> can, can you too, Jim and Jeannie? Talk, Talk about, about that, that because it was it was, it was an accomplishment. accomplishment. <laughs> it was the frustration. It, it was a real process. <laughs> a process is a good word for it. You're, you're, you're always tempted to just look at the person you're talking to, and that would throw everything off. And it was just a, uh, Chris did a, did a lot of work with us, and he was patient. And uh, you know, it was and Jason too. So it was it was a process and. We were all pretty nervous <laughs> the opening night. Yeah, it's really counterintuitive. Risa? When Jim proposed and they looked at each other, how? How what? How did you do that? <laughs> Dead reckoning. Yeah. Chris told me where I should look at. I think it was a 45 degree angle. So I'm looking at um, a armchair here in my, my son's, son's bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> That's proposed. I was looking at the wall. There's a spot right on the wall that I looked at. You know, that was Ginny. <laughs> it sounds like a challenge versus regular acting where you can actually see each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you do. You, you pick so much up from your, your uh, co-actor and not having that, not connecting, not seeing faces we did a couple of things where we did you know kind of pin each other and see what we were actually doing but um yeah that a lot of trust involved absolutely yeah <laughs> absolutely you just, sometimes it's 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 weird to sort of you're not even seeing yourself you just have to just do what chris says and you know we'll, we'll find out if it works or if you know we're doing it again <laughs> Chris, do you want to touch on the differences between um, directing in person and directing over video? Oh, we can't hear you, Chris. No, still can't hear you. No. See, this is the wonders of technology. Yeah. We grappled with these these things all week. See if I can. So I'll ask you another question while we're waiting for him. Okay. Um, actors, how did you find acting virtually compared to the stage experience? It's it's a whole nother animal. You know, I, I'm not I'm not going to say it's it's just calling on a whole different skill set, which is, yeah. is, it's, and it's probably, I just, I don't do any, I haven't done any television or movies or anything like that. So um, it's very different from stage acting, probably people who are more accustomed to looking in a camera and doing all of that. It's simpler. I don't know, Jim, have you done much camera? I've done a little teeny tiny bit of film work. I've done a couple of movies yeah. and, and um, you could take, 
45 minutes to shoot a scene that's three minutes long and because it, it's all about getting the shot right mm -hmm. and i think when you're on stage you're used to sort of it's all about being the, the actor and being in the moment and communicating to someone and then when you you know when you're doing a film or doing this you have to be cognizant of how the shot's going to look and that almost that kind of has to be your priority and i think I, you know i don't want to speak for jenny but as for really communicating with each other that kind of came I almost want to say last. <laughs> I think it was like something we, you know, we, we put together when we find when we're comfortable with the rest of it. Yeah. Then you could just sort of now I can talk to you. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah it's, it's um different. different. <laughs> yeah. Risa? How did you decide on the accents? The accent? Well, he's kind of a Ginny, you know, kind Ginny of Boston. A, yeah, he's a kind of a Boston mook, you know. <laughs> he likes all of his sports, and he probably, you know, gets into an argument about why the Jay Giles Band aren't in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's clearly snobbery. You know, but uh, he's a, you know, he, he's he's one of them guys. You know, I've related to a bunch of them. I have family in Southeast, so you know. Yeah, my accent was basically just making it a cold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Risa? Um, Jason and Chris, what was it like to use OBS rather than Zoom? Do you recommend it? Are you still? OK, go ahead, Chris. No. Ah, I can't hear you. Um, OBS is more complicated. Uh, it took us this week uh, ironing out um, the different settings that you can do um but it's worth it with zoom you've got two boxes and you don't even know where the boxes are going to end up on the screen uh, we could not have had the actors talk to each other uh as they did in this in a zoom pro uh, program because you might have one actor talking that way and the other actor talking that way um the 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 inserts of, of video features, the changing of the screens, all of that is through OBS um, and also through the wonderful product, OBS Ninja. Um, in fact, Steve, who created OBS Ninja, graciously helped uh, till midnight last night, ironing out some last bugs. Uh, and I can't highly recommend his product. I can't, cannot uh, recommend his product too highly. Um, this one is for Nicole. Love, love the comic touch with the newscaster. Was that hard to do? Um, no, it actually, it actually kind of reminds me of doing like, like blog work and stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about her. <laughs> I guess I was trying to kind of make almost a, you know, kind of one of those kind of standard almost Fox News kind of reporters out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Risa? Would you do it all over again? Oh, definitely. We're going yeah. to. <laughs> They're going to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Especially, especially since there are no live performances. This is, this is the closest we can get to any sort of live performance. Um, we in fact had a very short debate in the beginning as to whether or not we would do it live or we would record it and we settled on chris settled on doing it live because uh, there's the immediacy and the uh the fact that small things can happen that we don't anticipate uh uh small little gifts of acting in real life um and so yes we would all do it again i think mm -hmm. Anything else, Risa? Uh, I think we have, we have, oh, here we go. What were the, what was, what were the greatest challenges to creating this play in all of your opinions? My computer was one of the biggest hardships. Um, <laughs> certainly um, gave everybody a migraine headache. <laughs> 
I would, I would agree. I'd have to say it's the hardware mm -hmm. um, because people's hardware is so different um, and the quality and the connections all are different. Yeah. 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 And, and, and the, the, the not, not, not seeing each, each other, other, I think face to face for me, that was, that was, that, that, and all the technical, technical stuff, stuff which, which I was like, well, well I, couldn't I couldn't help at all. So, so we just, just kind of waited and, and let, let it get worked work out. out. <laughs> but but um, then, then once we got, got going, going, just being, knowing, knowing that, that you've got to look different places, places. Yeah. it doesn't yeah. make any yeah. sense to you, but, but it makes sense in the, the in the picture. picture. Um, um, that just took some getting used to. Oh yeah, and you'd hear direction and you'd be sort of like this and I, you don't really know what they're trying to say. And then, you know, what? Yes, yes, and, and as, as Chris, Chris just put up, not, not being all together in the same, same room, room. Oh, sure. with the director. Yeah. 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 Uh, it worked. It worked. And, and this is what we have, have so, so we, 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 we do need to embrace it now. It now. So we have yeah, for a while. <laughs> yeah. What will you do differently tomorrow night? Hmm. I'm going to do an Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I have on one of those big hats, and they, you know. I, I think I'm going to turn everybody's mic off during the pre-show because we had we had some background noise during the pre-show. Uh, the mics don't turn off if you if you're in this play and you don't turn your mic off of yourself, then people are going to hear you. Um, that's what I would do different. Anyone else? Something else different you're going to do? No, I, I mean, that's kind of the, that's why it's fun that it's live because we don't, it's going to be different tomorrow night and we're, none of us really know how that's hopefully in good ways, what that's yeah. going to be. And that's, that's, that's the fun, fun of doing it a second time live, live and seeing what, 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 what comes out this time. time. It's very close to um, being on stage actually. Now that, you know, we're really delving into it. The learning curve is crazy, but it, um, it, it, it's, it's good. It's so filling. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, and the, have it missing um, a chance to, you know, I think we all miss rehearsing and being with people and memorizing lines and getting anxiety and, you know, we, you know I'm, I'm telling you, if and, you know, when it does come back, I am not going to take it for granted. No, no. Uh, Jim, Ginny, Nicole, would you recommend people uh, memorize their lines for short plays like these? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, you know at first that, that didn't, didn't seem necessary, necessary but because of our action, action I mean, and it happened, you know, earlier, earlier this week, week, I was like, well, my script's here, here but I have to look over here. here. So, so the, the only, only way, way for this to work is to memorize it. it. Luckily, Luckily, it's, it's a, beautiful a beautiful short, short play. play. Thank, Thank you, Lisa, Lisa, if you're out there. It's a lovely, sweet play and wasn't hard to memorize, but was, was a surprise, surprise that all of a sudden, oh, yeah, because yeah. most of what I've done has been to the camera Zoom stuff, so the script's there on the screen, and you just got to know how to fake it to the camera, but this is completely different, so yeah, definitely. And and that is something uh, different we're going to do tomorrow night. Lisa, the playwright, will be joining us. Yeah. Um, I'm sure everybody watching will tune again in again tomorrow night, 7 p.m., and we will have another talk back, and Lisa will be joining us. Great. So I have two last questions. The first is, will there be a recording available for us to rewatch on YouTube and how soon? <laughs> yes. And uh, I could put the, uh, I think it'll come up immediately. Um, it does, the pre-show does need to be trimmed and I'll probably do that tomorrow. But I think as of tonight, the, uh, uh, a version of the show will be up and the final version will be up tomorrow. Um, and, and our last comment is, as an audience member, I really appreciated knowing that you were performing live, which made the performance feel more immediate, counteracting the distance associated with remote theater. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you all. Oh. <laughs> Chris says it's been an adventure. <laughs> Very much so. It's not over, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Knock wood. Um, to our audience, 
thank you all for joining us. We appreciate your patronage. Um, and we'll be seeing you. Thank you. Donate your money. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm.